Hey everyone, um, we are doing another unboxing video. So today is April 4th, well, when I record this anyway, maybe it'll be up, who knows. And if you can't tell by the background, oh, put it that way, that P, uh, yeah, it's for Personas 5. And not just any unboxing, it's for the Take Your Heart Premium Edition in this freakishly big box. Um, so yeah, I got my, got a different knife this time. Got, you know, Need something, need something sharper than a butter knife, especially after that last incident with the phone. So let's go ahead and open you up by Christmas and see what we got inside. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what the hell Persona is, go go Google it right now. I, I mean, I have to unwrap this, so you got a little bit of time. Just kidding, you don't have any time. I already opened it. Okay, here we go. Big box. And da 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 da. Woo! So yeah, like most of these boxes, they usually come with a paper-thin skin and then revealing the actual box, which is usually a wrap art. Look at that wrap art. Look at that. Look at all them people. You got the main characters. You have the logo. Take your heart, premium edition. So, oh, I can open this thing. There's like a little... Oh, here we go. I'm going to open it for you guys. I won't even know what's in it right now. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, it's not the best idea. Anyway, let's uh, let's go through this box. First of all, the very first thing you notice is this adorable little plush of Morgana, who is one of the people who fight in your team. It's a cat. Um, every Persona game usually has a non-human sort of avatar character, and this game is a cat because this game is about thieves. It even has a skin color. The match with a thief would have, which would be like the face covered. But he has adorable little eyes. Um, next, because every single game has to have an art book now. And this one has like a binding like it would for a Dr. Seuss book, which I think is hilarious. But just to get an idea what's inside here. It's pretty much all pre-render sketches of characters. And let's see if there's anything really... I want to see if there's anything like that stands out. Because... Oh, so yeah, it's pretty much, they're pretty much all character designs, including, you might reckon, if you've played um, any Persona game, you might even recognize these characters, or at least Igor. Igor is the, sort of like a caretaker kind of character, and he also does some effed up things. And then they still have the um, gray-haired, like, autonomous sort of character for, oh, huh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy crap. This thing is full of different character designs. Like, I haven't started this game yet, because obviously I just got it, but I'm looking at this and there's a lot of art. Oh, you got some, uh, let's find something like that really sticks out. I want to find, where is it? Come on. These books usually have at least one scenery picture. Mm. Oh, here we go. This is usually this kind of stuff, too. It's pretty much different art um, renderings for the game itself, usually scenery and whatnot. Uh, they usually draw these up before they actually start programming them so they get an idea of what to actually program. Next is, what in God's name is this? Uh, looks like a handbag. If I can open this up. Yeah. This is a, a Shujin Academy carrying case, like, you know, the, like, gym and stuff. Wow. Such, this is actually kind of legit. Like, they don't usually give you something this nice. You can... Oh, it even has a little, has like a plaid ender, uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. it's plaid inside, which is, you know, very synonymous with, like, a uh, school costume, or not school, school uniform <laughs> costume. Uh, next is, of course, a play, uh, oh my god, a soundtrack for the game with 19 songs. Pretty good, Atlas. Pretty good. And Sega. Yes, Atlas and Sega. It says both on the back of this. And, of course, the actual game itself in a, it's a multi-layered sort of deal here. We got first the outer skin, and you can take it off to reveal... Another freaking gorgeous as hell steel book. Like, come on. 
Why, who doesn't want a steelbook? These are effing gorgeous. And, of course, the game's inside. The only, I mean, I guess the only d downside about a steelbook is, one, the weight, and two, you can't invert the art. There's some cool art inside of it, too. And I just took out a warning slip. It's not, no one cares about this crap. Um, so there will be a series on this coming out on the 11th? No, earlier than that. The 7th. Whenever... I usually play these games... Um, I usually release a video on new games uh, pretty much the next Monday after they're out. And for you kids at home, it sucks for you because this is grade M. There's a lot of sexual references, mostly in the form of demons. There are dick demons, succubuses, um, demons taking shits in toilets, etc. And I think that's it. That's all the stuff they came with. And putting this back together is going to be torture. But it's okay because I'm... I love opening these things. They're so fun. Um, anyways, I am Lord Cyclone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, right. Um, sub. Sub to this channel. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Sub to the channel, man. There's always some new stuff coming out. Oh, I should have mentioned this for anyone who actually wants to stream this game. Um, please read Atlas's website, because they have specific um guidelines to what you can and cannot do for this game and if you break any of them they will come and kill you i mean <clears throat> i mean they will they will take your content down like i think the two biggest things is one you cannot go past a 90 minute video which uh, i would not imagine doing that i mean I, I i did like a three hour video on legend of zelda when it first came out but that's because i wanted to finish the whole plateau in one shot the other thing though which is probably going to be a little more interesting, is that you cannot put spoilers on the wet internet, which is going to be difficult for someone like me who does playthroughs. Uh, what will probably happen is I will be... Uh, I'm going to follow the guidelines. It says to stop um, July 7th in the game time, because all these games usually have an end game time that you have to like abide to. And I'll try my best to follow it, which means I will probably not do a full gameplay of this game, which... Really sucks. I really don't like that, but I'd rather have something up than nothing at all. Anyways, as I said before, I'm Lord Cyclone. Please subscribe, like, comment. Please comment below. Tell me if you think that Atlas is make is trying to pull a Nintendo here and trying restricting our our uh, streaming ability is a good thing or not. Um, I mean, yeah, the only thing that's great about it is that people can't spoil it for me too, which. Eh. I mean, honestly, if you want to be spoiled by a game the internet really can't like stop you or st you know from doing that it's your it's your if you want to watch something that you really want to see even if it spoils something important to you i mean by all means go and watch it i'm not stopping you no one's stopping you i mean i mean atlas is gonna try to stop you but i'm pretty sure there's gonna be some like less well-known websites that'll have full gameplay i am expecting twitch Twitch, I don't know if they're going to follow that, because Twitch is a... They do watch things, but I don't know if they know specific things about games. I think they just stop, like, um, lewd behavior and, you know, like, just regular things you would stop on the internet that are offensive to kids. Um, yeah. Well, if you watch this far, uh, don't forget to watch some videos that will hopefully pop up right above my head there. And my face will become a subscribe button, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to edit this later. I'll do whatever I want. Anyways, um, yeah, see, see you guys next time, and don't forget to watch the Atlas series that comes out next Monday. Bye!